Okay, <clears throat> next day, I got the crank pulley on, uh, but I didn't end up buttoning it up because I was looking at the engine. It doesn't have the emissions like deleted, call me valve and stuff, so I was thinking about doing that. So I, I don't know. I would like to do that. I'm waiting for parts for this. I'm waiting to find an engine for that, so I don't really have too much to do on that. So um, today I did find a bumper, um, but it's pretty far away. And the way that we're going, we're going by a pick and pull. So uh, I'm going to stop at this pick and pull. I got to load up the tools, the pick and pull, bumper, probably stop back at Chris's house um, and get some bolts uh, that he forgot to give me for this. So yeah, I don't know really what we're getting into today. Um, yeah, we'll just see. So back at Tom Water Pig and Pull. I'm going back to that red A3, or the red, the red Mark III. Um, I forgot to pull the fuel pump because I've been going back and forth researching um, the, the G60 fuel pump, if that's gonna be enough uh, for, for the, uh, the 1.8T. And I just wanna make sure, cause I know the VR one uh, has done it beautifully so i just want this just so i don't have any problems okay so i got the cover off got the fuel lines off and make sure you get the wire that's connected to this fuel pump because you wire this in uh to the rear like on the crowd it might be already like this but usually on a mark ii you want to get the wire too so i got it up a little bit and i can see in it and man i think i'm just gonna buy a new one like it's dirt down there i know a little bit fell in but i could even back there with my flashlight uh, I'm going to research a little bit more. Um, I'll just buy a new one if I actually really need one. So it's been, I don't know, like five, six days since I've been here to this one. So someone got the fenders. Let's see what else. Oh, this water is terrible. Whew. Nothing in there. Oh, someone got the back seats. Oh, someone got all the rear stuff. Yep. So, I'm gonna look around a little bit more. Because usually when I'm here, I'm just, you know, trying to get stuff and get it out. So, I'm gonna look around a little bit and then uh, we'll get going driving um stopped at safeway to get some food so i thought i'd just show i got some organic carrots i got some chicken strips and earlier i stopped i got a new sweatshirt because my other one was just so nasty i've had it for years and years uh, i got some cough drops because my throat is all messed up um we are about 15 minutes away from getting the a4 bumper and pretty stoked on that it looked really clean i'm glad this guy's taking the time to meet me because nowadays you know you don't you never know if someone's gonna show up or not or if they're gonna be a you know a crackhead or something so i appreciate him taking the time because 40 bucks is like i feel like it's not that much and you know he could just easily throw that away from and you know save his time so appreciate this and then uh so when we're done here we'll get to chris's and then we can see how far he got um pulling that engine and He'd normally probably have it out by now and almost sitting in the other one, but he just had some huge surgery on his leg. Like he got some bone taken out and bone from a dead person put in. So maybe I'll ask him uh, to explain that story when we get there. All right, back on the road. Totally forgot to grab uh, my camera here and film right when I uh, pulled up, got the back open. This old guy pulled up and he was like, Where'd you get that hitch? <laughs> like, I'm like, told him Curry, and uh, he's telling me about his hitch that he's got, he's got the hitch on his Jetta, but the American hitch, you know, just comes straight out. The Euro one comes up, so then it's level with whatever um, trailer you're using. So we talked for a bit, and it, it was the, he had the 04, so it's the BHW, I think. And he's like, I said, oh, you got those can problems. I don't know, I got that fixed already. And he's got a Mark III too, and it's, um, you know, full delete straight. It's just cool when you meet other 
people and it was just some old guy and he saw that euro hitch and he was all about it so that was really cool the bad thing is this guy that we got the bumper it's crap it's in just as bad of condition as the one i already have so now i have two bad condition bumpers so waste of time so we're on the way to chris's um Oh man, it just it sucks. Like, I, I really zoomed into the pictures that he had online. It looked way better than mine. And I even tried to give him the money, and he's like, oh, you better look at it first. I was just like, oh no. So I checked it out, it's terrible. And he didn't, he's just like, here, take it, man. So he didn't even charge me. I'm probably just gonna take some pieces off it and throw it in the garbage. I got it for free, it's just wasting my time and my gas getting here. But back to Chris's, so we'll pick it up when we get there. All right, we're back at Chris's. Oh. Take what? my break, my mandatory union break. What's going on? What, what What's the progress? Uh, it's all out. I just, uh, so basically. Doesn't look out. Every single bolt. <laughs> it's, it's an East Coast car, so every single bolt's rusted. Oh, uh, gosh. This was. Earlier. Oh, it is out. It's dropped. It's all. It's all it's, this is my earlier. That doesn't look like fun trying to get it. Well, usually you just pick it up and out. That's how I do it. Where is uh, your... It sounds like a dog just broke her. Ooh, that does not sound yeah, good. Yeah, that was me trying to get the axle. Oh! Axle on my Dude, off. what? Oh. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Basically, what stopped me right now is because, so even the axle bolts, and the axle bolts are so tight, it broke my wrench. So I can't get the axles out. Oh my god. The bolts on the axles are seized. Oh that. my gosh. And so, I kind of been having fun. And then I have it all dropped down. Yeah. And it's like, it's free. Oh you yeah, the whole sub. It. Yeah. But my my he, upper knuckles and all that are in the way now, like so I can't pull it out because usually I'm on a lift and I oh. lift the car off the off the subframe. Yeah. And I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> oh man. Because this thing's just been giving me hell. So, but yeah, if you even like, you just look at some of these hose clamps. Dude. Yeah, they're all rusted. Yeah, it's a. I'm glad I have a bucket in the, inside my garage. It's from multiple two sevens, so I'm gonna replace all the bolts, all the covers. Just go through it. All right, two seven is out. Yeah. No, no sketchiness at all. Maybe. <laughs> Easy Don't peasy. Ask. But yeah, no. This is check this out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these. What the, are you going to do with those? Well, I have those F21s. Oh, that's phone. right. Oh, but yes. no, this is like one of the reasons why the motor had to come out. I can't get downpipes in the car. Wow. So, turbos needed to be done. Same on this side. Three of them out of the four snapped. Jeez, rusty turd, man. <laughs> gosh. Yeah. All right, so back in the garage. So, I was going to get. So, all, these coils are bad that Chris uh, let me borrow. <clears throat> um. I was gonna pull the coils out of the Mark I 1AT, but dude, it's so hard to get the coils out from that system, the, two, the 225 uh, 1AT. So, <laughs> stole the coils. I got, these are brand new coils that I was gonna put in the Mark V and with new plugs, I just haven't done it yet. So, until I get some new coils for this, <laughs> we're gonna have some nice red top coils. I need to get some new spark plugs for this also, but I think we are ready to take this for a test drive. I'm gonna go get my GoPro so I can hook that up for the first drive in. So made it down to the gas station this time. Uh, it was really out of gas, so I didn't really get on it that much, but no uh, hesitations, no misfires. Coils are doing their job, so now we'll take it for a little trip down the road here. Just 
quick test drive. Um, that's probably gonna be it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to get some driving in on this and I'm glad that front bumper and my other bumper, the two combined actually made one good bumper, but the bumper that I really would want is the RS4 bumper on the front. I totally forgot how good it looks on this car. So that's what I'm gonna probably try to get uh, sometime. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. See you guys next video.